Hello, I'm Rebecca Thomas, Vice President for Academic Affairs and Dean of the University. It is my honor to welcome you to the Transylvania University Class of 2024 First Year Induction Ceremony. While this year's ceremony looks different than it has in the past, please know how truly excited we are to connect with you and how much we look forward to seeing you on campus soon. As incoming students, you are taking a significant step on the path of discovering and developing your potential, an early step in your journey as a lifelong learner. I want to thank you, your family, and all those involved in the decision to select Transylvania University. This is a very special community where together we strive to support and guide you as you prepare for a fulfilling and productive life in a diverse world. At Transylvania, you will have exceptional learning experiences that foster independent thinking, open-mindedness, creative expression, and social responsibility. Your experiences at Transylvania will serve you beyond your graduation. Employers and graduate programs seek out our graduates because of their excellent academic preparation. Our alumni tell us that the network of support offered to them after graduation has enabled them to experience significant professional growth throughout their careers. And so, as you embark on your first year at Transylvania, I encourage you to embrace all of the opportunities and resources available to you. The more you engage in our community, the more you will gain from your experience here. And while this year may present some logistical challenges, please know that we are dedicated to ensuring that you receive the support you need not only to succeed at Transylvania, but to flourish. Now, I would like to recognize several important members of our campus community who are participating in today's ceremony. Mr. Brian Lewis, President of Transylvania University. Reverend Emily Miller, Director of Spirituality and Religious Life. Ms. Savannah Lambert, President of the Student Government Association. Dr. Mike Levan, Director of First Engagements and Associate Professor of Mathematics. Dr. Deidre Denny, Vice President for Diversity and Inclusion. Dr. Michael Covert, Interim Vice President for Student Life. Thank you all for participating in this event. I would also like to recognize our first engagement scholars, upper level students selected by the faculty to help lead this program. Thank you for contributing to the success of this program and for serving as wonderful role models for our incoming students. Finally, I would like to thank our dedicated and talented faculty. They have worked all summer to prepare for this unusual and unprecedented academic year. Please know that whether you're seeing your faculty in person or remotely, they are committed to providing you the very best possible educational experience. It is now my pleasure to introduce Reverend Miller, who will deliver our invocation. Good morning. It is my joy to be with you on this day. I'd like to invite you to be still, to take a breath in, and perhaps you need a long breath out and to join me in prayer as you are able and in whatever way is comfortable and comforting to you. Let us pray. God of transitions, of ends and beginnings, we come with our hopes and with our fears. We come together, albeit virtually, from this place to close by towns and faraway countries into residence halls and into homes. This is the beginning of college for many in our midst, for high school seniors who have recently graduated and are moving into this stage of their educational journey, others still who have had time since their last class, who have taken this step to return and begin their journey anew. We are grateful to you for all who make up the pioneer community. In the current situation, we find ourselves in, oh God, the biggest and the oddest of transitions. 
The COVID-19 pandemic has thrown us a curveball, and we have all done our best to stay safe, to stay healthy, and to keep one another and each other safe and healthy. We will need your help to continue to do this. We know it will look different, and we pray that we will lean into our new normal in new and creative ways. We lift up this day and these years set aside for study. Students have arrived knowing that the next few years may not be easy, but they won't be doing them alone. We all arrive together as a collection of people and circumstances, only that we will be changed, hopeful that these changes will make us better, wiser. Our hope is that we would learn from our failures how to grow and that our triumphs teach us how to stay the course. We come with our hearts and our minds, with our passions and our reason to this place of learning that will hopefully at some point resemble home. We come because we have heard and answered the call to deeper knowledge of ourselves, of others, of the world. We know that we will be changed. Our hope is that these changes will move us into ever deeper wisdom and knowledge, towards a deeper care of the self and our neighbors, and into a deeper understanding of the world. Amen. On behalf of the Student Government Association, I want to welcome you all to Transylvania. We know these circumstances are unusual to say the very least, but I think I can safely speak for my classmates when I say that we are just as excited to welcome you into this campus community, even if that community exists at least partially virtually right now. That's the thing that I've come to love about Transylvania, that sense of community. I'm sure you've heard that over and over again, whether it's from your professors, your admissions counselors, or maybe even other students. But I think that speaks to how compelling that sense of community actually is here. It's not just tied to a physical presence on campus. It's knowing you're part of a larger tradition as a Transylvania student of excellence and achievement. That tradition extends 240 years before you and hopefully another 240 years after you. If I can offer a little bit of advice, you will get out of this community the same effort that you put into it. I know that most of you all are coming from one of the most challenging and abnormal senior years ever. And I know that you are probably tired, anxious, and a little bit over Zoom. But please, fight against that as much as you can and take the time to become an active member of this community. It might take a little bit of extra effort right now to engage, but it is worth it. Transylvania is the type of place that helps support you as you create your own opportunities. Take that chance and take it in fully. Dive in head first. Be an active presence here. Do not wait until you're an upperclassman. Show up, take initiative, and seek out opportunities that will challenge you. Start now. Find those that share your interests and embrace them. Find those that don't and see what you can learn from them. Engage with your professors as well. They are real people and I promise they genuinely want to see you succeed. They care about how you perform inside the classroom, but also the type of person you become outside as well. Don't get me wrong, the letters on your transcript are important, but so are the networks you build the experiences you learn from, and the resources that help you grow. The faculty and staff here are some of the best resources I know and have been willing to help me every single time I needed it. Don't be afraid to ask for that help if you need it. You are your own best advocate and no one else can take that initiative for you. You are now joining the tight-knit community here that I and so many of my classmates have come to love so much. You have the chance to start over, decide what type of community member you want to be, and make it happen. You get to shape what your experience here looks like. And as a senior myself, I can't help but be just a little bit jealous of all of the memories and experiences and opportunities that I know you have ahead of you. I hope you take every chance you can 
to engage, learn, and listen these next four years. I know that if you do, you'll be proud of the student, but more importantly, the person that you'll become. Welcome to Transy class of 2024. I can't wait to see what you'll do. Class of 2024. So, my name is Mike Levan, and I'm an associate professor of mathematics, the director of first engagements, and the father of a Transylvania rising senior. So I thought I would talk to you today wearing those three different hats. First, let me talk to you as a parent. I know that this is an exciting time for you, but let's talk about what's really important here. And that's our needs and what we want and what we have to happen here in these next few days. Because right? even though this is a great time for you, it's a pretty sad and anxious time for us as parents as well. So even though over the years you've grown taller than us and it's really hard to believe how fast that you've grown, no longer is going off to college some vague image that we've got way down in the distant future. Your future starts now, but at the same time, our present is about to radically change. This is the beginning of a new season that's going to catapult you into your adult life. In just a short time, home is gonna become a place that you visit and not necessarily a place that you live. That's a hard thought for any parent to get used to. You also won't be a part of our daily life anymore. Phone calls are great, social media is nice, but it's just not the same thing as sharing life face to face. As parents, we know this is the way it should be, but it's still an emotional hurdle for all of us to leap. The house is gonna feel different. The sounds, the activities, the energy, it's all gonna change. When we have dinner tonight and we look over across the table, we'll see an empty spot where you used to be sitting. And sometimes when we we'll walk past your room, admittedly, it might be a better smelling room now, but the energy's gonna change and our lives are gonna be different as well. And this is true whether you're staying at home for your first college days or if you're going off to campus. We will adjust and life is still good, but it still takes some time to let go. A famous psychiatrist once said that parents don't just love their children. They fall in love with them. So just think about that when you get a call or a FaceTime request from mom, that becomes the most important thing in your life at that moment. Drop whatever you're doing and make sure that you answer the call. As director of first engagements, let me say that we're excited to have you as a part of our Transylvania community. Depending on your first engagement section, you're going to address a wide range of interesting topics and some pretty tough questions. You will come to learn that there are several first engagements classes that represent many different learning styles. Your section may talk about health, nature, individual identity, civil liberties, art. You may also critically examine a classical text or maybe even go on a walking tour to explore Lexington. There are a lot of different interesting classes that are happening this week. We also have several discussions lined up for you to help you with the transition to Transylvania and an independent adult lifestyle. We hope that this week will prepare you for the challenge of your first semester of college and to help start you finding out who you are and to help you be ready for today's world. Lastly, as a faculty member, let me say that I know that you're concerned about online classes. I am too. But there are several reasons why this school year can still be a very productive year. Let me share with you what I found from teaching online these last few months. Transylvania is not like a larger school. Right, for a lot of different reasons. Obviously one of the bigger ones is our class sizes are much smaller. Right? So even though you have a class that is remote, you'll still have the opportunity to get to know your professor. You'll still have the chance to build relationships with your peers. And the professors will know you by your name and as a person. Remote learning doesn't have to be a, a bad situation for you. Right? Remote learning does have some big advantages over a traditional classroom setting. If a lecture is online, you'll have the chance to watch it as many times as you need. In a traditional setting, you get one chance at a lesson, and that's usually it. This gives you the chance to hear an explanation multiple times. This will help you hopefully understand the material a little bit better, or at least help you figure out what questions you need to ask your professor. Remote learning, I know it sounds odd, but it might actually give you more access to your professor. Uh, in normal times, if you have a class during a professor's office hours, you could find it really tough trying to find a time to meet with them. Right? But if a class is online, then you're always just a Zoom call away, either day or night. 
You can even get a group of friends to join you for a virtual study session. Uh, for a statistics course I had this summer, I had multiple study sessions at 7, 8, 9 o'clock at night. I even had one student that had to go home to Australia, and that led to some midnight Zoom calls with him. So remote learning has a lot of advantages to it, and it has a lot of the same caveats as an in-class would have. The biggest one is that you get out of the class what you put into the class. There are probably some classes that you've taken over your, your career where you just wanted to show up and not really participate, not really get into. That can be the same online, but you'll have just as much of an opportunity to be active in a remote classroom as you would in an in-person class. It really is up to you. You can make the experience exactly what you want it to be. So you can go into a class with an upbeat, positive attitude of making it work, or you can just try to get by. It really is your call. Transy is not alone when it comes to remote learning. All schools are having to deal with the pandemic and are having to move more and more classes online. Transylvania is most importantly trying to guarantee the safety of its students, faculty, and staff as best we can. For some classes, that means teaching in a remote setting is the best option. For other classes, there could be an in-person component. The best part is you get to choose how you want to participate, remotely or in person. So you can do what actually feels best for you and for your learning. Similarly, you even have the option of choosing if it's best for you to stay on campus or not. Right? There are guidelines that we all have to follow when we're on campus, but you have the option to choose the college experience that is best for you. And that's pretty exciting. So on behalf of the entire Transylvania faculty, we can't wait to meet you and we can't wait to get started. Hello and welcome class of 2024. Today's induction ceremony marks a new school year by honoring you, the class of 24, and your family and friends who have joined us today for this virtual event. We know that we would all rather be celebrating this milestone occasion in person, and please know that we would rather be seeing the excitement in your eyes face to face as well. All of us at Transylvania are honored that you have chosen to spend these significant years ahead as members of our learning community. We take our commitment to you and to your successful education very seriously. We also take our commitment to your health and safety very seriously, and we ask you to join us in protecting all members of our Transylvania family by wearing your mask, following health protocols and policies, and honestly and diligently using the self-reporting app. Together, we can provide a safe place to learn and grow. Now, like you, I'm a rookie at Transylvania. I am honored to have begun my service as the 28th president of this great university just a few weeks ago. I'm excited to begin this adventure with you as we formally induct you into the Transylvania family of over 15,000 living alumni. We continue a great higher education tradition which began 240 years ago in 1780. Just think of it. If you've been watching or listening to Hamilton like I have, many of the events that were depicted in that remarkable production took place around the time that Transylvania University was created. The paths of Transylvania and the nation are inextricably entwined as we were the first university west of the Alleghenies. To parents and family members joining us today with two children of my own currently in university, as Bill Clinton might say, I feel your pain. I know how exciting yet how challenging it can be to leave your loved one in an unfamiliar place or in the care of unfamiliar people or to try to give your student the space and time within your home to engage in their education remotely. In either format, we understand the importance of the role we play as faculty, staff, and coaches in your child's welfare and ultimately their success. We are here to support your students in a multitude of ways so that they might learn and grow as young adults and we're deeply committed to providing the kind of personal attention that will make a difference. To the students, I want to provide you with three fundamentals to know about Transy and three simple homework assignments. Yes, I'm already giving you homework. In order to enhance your induction experience, deepen your understanding of our Transylvania culture, and thus your college career, it's important to know three things about the university. First, 
our institutional mission captures what we do and why. Here it is. Through an engagement with the liberal arts, Transylvania University prepares its students for a humane and fulfilling personal and public life by cultivating independent thinking, open-mindedness, creative expression, and commitment to lifelong learning and social responsibility in a diverse world. Secondly, what the name Transylvania means. The name comes from Latin and it's translated as across the woods, a good description of the vast, heavily forested area between the Ohio and Cumberland rivers, first settled by American colonists in the 1770s. A group of pioneers whose chief scout was Daniel Boone chose the name Transylvania Colony when they established a settlement near what is now Lexington. Third, the university seal and motto. The university seal was created in 1909. The seal bears the heraldic symbols of a torch, a hand, a book, and a globe, and they represent truth, faithfulness, learning, and service to the world. Inscribed on it is the university's motto, in lumine illo tradimus lumen, or in that light we pass on the light. As you know, the nation is mourning the passing of Congressman and civil rights leader John Lewis. In his memoir, he captured potently the need for passing on the light. Lewis wrote, and I quote, our actions entrench the power of the light on this planet. Every positive thought we pass between us makes room for more light. And if we do more than think, then our actions clear the path for even more light. That is why forgiveness and for compassion must become more important principles in public life." Close quote. Lewis indeed passed on the light, as we must. So in short, our mission, our purpose, is to help guide you through study and reflection toward a successful and meaningful life. But this is not a one-way street. Most of what you will glean from Transylvania University will be up to you. So here are three homework assignments, three challenges, if you will, that I set out for you. First, get to know one professor really well each semester. Take the time to meet with them in their office hours, engage them, seek their help and insights. You will develop relationships that will be of great help to you, not just during your time as an undergraduate, or during your first steps after transy, but truly for a lifetime. Second, keep in mind Isidore Rabi, who was a Nobel Prize winner in physics. As a young boy, each day when he got home, instead of asking, did you learn anything in school today? His mother would say to him, did you ask a good question today? So be sure to ask good questions every day. And third, when you get up in the morning, each day, think of a lion and a gazelle. Why? Well, because Tom Friedman, in his book, The World is Flat, points out that thanks to technology and reduced trade barriers, you can connect, collaborate with, and compete with anybody anywhere. But of course, anyone anywhere can connect, collaborate, and compete with you. So Friedman recounts seeing an African proverb displayed in Mandarin on the wall of a factory in China. The proverb says that every morning on the savannah, a gazelle wakes up, and the gazelle knows he's going to have to run faster than the slowest lion, or he's going to get eaten. And every morning a lion wakes up, and the lion knows he's going to have to run faster than the slowest gazelle, or he's going to starve. So the conclusion is it doesn't matter whether you're the lion or the gazelle. When you get up in the morning, you better start running. So in sum, embrace all that Transylvania University has to provide you. Develop those relationships. Ask good questions. Receive the light we have to offer and pass on the light to a world that needs it more than ever. Congratulations, class of 2024. I warmly welcome you to Transylvania University. And in just a few moments, we will induct you as new pioneers of the Transylvania family. We are delighted and honored that you are now part of this historic and dynamic community of learners. 
Welcome Transylvania students and community to a new academic year. I'm Dr. Deidre Denny, the Vice President for Diversity and Inclusion. I am delighted to be here with you today and look forward to meeting you in the days to come, whether it is in person or virtually. This year's theme is justice. Justice means the use of power as appointed by law, honor, or standards to support fair treatment and due reward. And how fitting a concept, as so far the year 2020 feels like the entire world is fighting for, striving towards, rallying around, defending their right to, and determining who deserves justice. A new civil rights movement is upon us, bringing with it a sense of urgency. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, the moral arc of the universe bends at the elbow of justice. As a new year dawns and we move further into the 21st century, there is still a need to organize, to educate, and to agitate for democracy and social and economic justice. I charge you today to embrace Transylvania's mission and embrace your opportunity to build a fulfilling personal and public life by cultivating independent thinking, open-mindedness, creative expression, and commitment to lifelong learning and social responsibility in this diverse world. This is your time to bend, art towards justice, no matter who it's for or who it's against. Thank you. Class of 2024, by way of formalizing our tradition of excellence and your participation in a community of scholars, we have something we would like to give to you. Throughout the days and weeks ahead, you will learn much about Transylvania's extraordinary history. Yet despite our past glories, all of us gathered here today are certain that each of you has the potential to bring even greater glory to this remarkable institution. Without question, many individuals help you to get to this point in your life. During your time at Transylvania, you'll meet many more people who will assist and inspire you. As we conclude this ceremony, we would like to present you with an important memento, one that represents the community of scholarship that is Transylvania. Although we cannot present this coin in person, I encourage you to look at it now. On one side is inscribed the university's motto, in lumina illo, trotimus lumen. In that light, we pass on the light. We believe the education that Transylvania students receive yields enlightened individuals. Each generation of pioneers builds from the light of those who came before and in turn offers the same to those who follow. On the other side of the coin, you will find a quote by Booker T. Washington. If you want to lift yourself up, lift up someone else. We also hope that four years from now, as you prepare to walk across the stage at graduation, that you will consider giving the coin to someone important to you, someone who helped you along the way, someone who lifted you up. Chances are designating a single person from your collegiate experience will be one of the most difficult things you can undertake. Keep the coin close, take it out occasionally, and consider all that you plan to accomplish over the next four years. You are now formally a first year student at Transylvania University. Would all those watching this ceremony please join me in welcoming our class of 2024.